Alright, so today we're taking a look at the best budget GPUs to pair with the i5-13400F, which is in my opinion one of the best budget value for money gaming CPUs that you can get right now. But there are a select few GPUs that are so worth it when it comes to pairing it with this CPU, and there are a lot of GPUs that are not worth it to be honest. So without wasting any more time, let's get to the GPUs that you shouldn't pair it with first. So the obvious GPUs that you cannot pair with this one, which is all the RTX 4000 series gpus that are in right now so the 4780i all the way up to the 4090 uh, these are gpus that will bottleneck our cpu and the cpu pretty much won't be able to keep up with the, our gpu and as you can see from a, a really rare benchmarks because not a lot of people have got their hands on this cpu but from some benchmarks it shows that the i5-13400 with an rtx 4090 which is the highest end gpu wouldn't be able to keep up with something like uh, the 7600x or the i5-13500 which you cannot find anywhere right now so yeah all the rtx 4000 series gpus are out of question in my opinion and are not worth it and you'll have a great bottle and you should go with something higher now the other gpus that i will have some hard time pairing it with this uh, cpu unless i'm getting a brand new pc altogether which is the rx 6700 xt the rtx 3060 and the rtx 3050 and anything lower 6650 xt so from the 6700 xt to lower than this i'd have some hard time uh, pairing these gpus with this cpu simply because this gpu is way too overkill for these cpus i would go something like a 12400f or a ryzen 5 5600 uh, to get the same performance pretty much so you will not have any bottlenecks with these cpus so if your only uh, use is for gaming uh, purely gaming of course this cpu will not make much sense but if you do some cpu intensive tasks next to that it will make a lot of sense to go with something like that but hey if it's budget gaming yeah uh, you're putting your money on the wrong place so the best graphics card in my opinion is the amd rx 6800 and the rx 6800 xt and their equivalents from nvidia being the 3070 ti and 80 so this is doesn't have to do with uh, the way the value goes it's not about the pricing it's about the performance purely but when it comes to value the best value brand new gpu right now is the rx 6800 because it's the only brand new gpu that you can get for a reasonable price which is 490 to 500 dollars but you can go with used gpus from ebay if you're comfortable with that being an rtx 3080 of course because you're getting the ray tracing capabilities uh any of the both gpus you'll have great performance and the i5 13400 has the same exact gaming performance uh, of an i5-12600K. So if we compared in a video uh, that I'll link you down in the description, a Ryzen 5 7600X, which is one of the fastest gaming CPUs right now, to a 12600K paired with an RTX 3080, as you can see, there isn't any much difference going on. So it makes a lot of sense to go with something like an RTX 3080 or a 6800, 6800XT. So anything over a 6700XT all the way up to a 6950XT would make a lot of sense. A GPU that I'm not really sure because I haven't seen any benchmarks of, which is the RTX 3080 Ti and the RX 6900 XT. Is this a capable a GPU to be paired with this CPU or the CPU will bottleneck it? This is a very unknown question to me, but if you're playing 1440p, I would guess that it's okay. But also, it would make more sense to go something like an i5 13500 if you're paying 600 to 700 dollars on a GPU. It makes a lot of sense to pay this extra 50 dollars to 70 dollars on a 13. 500. So yeah, that's been it. If you like the video, press on that like button. If you want to see more videos of that kind, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.